You made it to Charlemagne. You was donkey of the day. For what reason? She uh 25 playing high school basketball. Hey, Kill the legend. <laughs> Killing them. <laughs> Killing them. <laughs> yo, yo. Quick question. Does this man look like a 17 year old high school basketball player to you? I mean, maybe. But what if I told you this man was actually 25 years old, went back to high school, and won Offensive Player of the Year? This story is just wild. What's going on basketball fans? My name is Josh and I am back with another video. Imagine playing high school basketball when you're in your 20s. You'd be bigger, faster, and stronger than a bunch of high school kids. You'd also be the most dominant player on the court. That's exactly what Sidney Gilstrap Portley thought when he decided to attend Hillcrest High. Except the man decided to go by the name Rashawn Richardson. Not suspicious at all. Richardson had a dream of playing high school basketball once again. He claimed that his first time in high school were the best years of his life. So I mean, why not do it again? Like what could possibly go wrong? His first step was obviously to enroll into a high school. He found out that Hillcrest High were accepting victims of Hurricane Harvey because the storm was so devastating that lots of people were left without anything and they were accepting students with little to no paperwork. So Richardson claimed that he was a refugee of Hurricane Harvey and he was able to bypass any possible background check and got accepted into the school. He also claimed that he was homeless and didn't have a mother, but none of that was even true. How did you do <laughs> they, they probably closed the loophole now, so it's too late, but yeah, I want to know. How did you do How that? did you do it? Uh, when that hurricane hit, they told me that uh, it was loose to get in that bitch. Like, you ain't even got to have no paperwork to get in, so I went up there, fifth out the application, the regular school application to get in and they let me in, but I wasn't even really going to that bitch at first. This man, Rashawn Richardson, is the ultimate finesser. He successfully enrolled into the high school, signed up for classes, and attended school like he was just another student. When it came time for basketball tryouts, of course, the man made the team. Now this is when things start to get interesting. Richardson, as expected, was dominant. He had a game where he dropped 34 points and 15 rebounds, and apparently he dropped 40 points in 3 quarters against the number one team in the nation. This guy was so good that the coaches in the conference voted Rashawn as the Offensive Player of the Year, and his team finished with an 11-10 record. His team was average, but Rashawn was putting up some ridiculous numbers. Things were looking great for Rashawn Richardson. That's until he got caught. At the end of the season, Richardson and his team were playing in a local tournament, and of course, his old high school basketball coach just happened to be there. And his coach ratted him out, reported him to the police, and that was it for his high school basketball career. But it doesn't end there. There were also reports that Rashawn Richardson was in a relationship with a 14 year old freshman. But uh, let's just ignore that. This man took two fat L's back to back. Thankfully though, Richardson was arrested and he is facing several charges as we speak. The biggest one is tampering with government records, but that doesn't summarize his entire story. But looking back at his story, this dude is the ultimate finesser. He managed to sneak into a high school, become a student, make the basketball team, was so good that he won Offensive Player of the Year, and almost finished the season. If his old coach didn't happen to be at the tournament on that weekend, this dude probably would have gotten away with it. And his numbers were good enough where he could have been recruited by some colleges and the dude was 25 years old. And the crazy thing is, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. And to be honest, it's probably happening right now and we just don't know about it. But with that being said, that's the story of the high school basketball player who faked his age and almost got away with it. If you enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that like button, also hit that subscribe button. We are getting close to 40,000 subscribers. That's an insane number and I know we can hit it soon, so make sure you guys hit that sub button. But that's it for me. Till next time, peace.